Suzanne is um, it, it, she she she's old news for us at, at the at the radio station, Dave. We've known her for years. She's been in and around for years, and the reason why that is so true is because you're correct. She does a wonderful job of small business. Let's talk about some of the things that the small business center does because this is the one area small business people miss the mark. We talk and make fun of government all the time. They don't get the fact that you're there for them for free, right? This is the area that they can take advantage of their government, the welfare for a small business, right? Right. And well, they just don't do it enough. So let's talk about some of the th- stuff you can help them with. And we're fortunate because North Carolina has one of the most extensive technical resources available for folks that are wanting to start a small business. And that's what we do at the Small Business Center is we are there to support the development of new businesses. Um, And so we offer a wide variety of training programs. Uh, We offer confidential business counseling. And then we offer other resources to help individuals that are, you know, looking to get started they need to know where to go who to call what kind of permits licenses that they need so we're there to help them and and that's that that is a really big statement right if small business and please for for those of you think about going to small business hear this if you've got a question suzanne will get you the answer right i mean you'll figure out who it is that right i may not always know the (laughs) answer but i can put you in the right direction yeah that's so true in talking with um folks that have aspirations of being a business owner they have that entrepreneurial spirit but there's always questions i had them myself you know many years ago and I, you know, nothing happened because I didn't know who to ask. I did not have those resources around me, you know, personally, and I didn't even know what resources were available, you know, like through the Small Business Center. So, um, you know, you got to take advantage of that. Right. Yeah. Right. And there's, a, you know, a small business center is not part of a network. So there is a small business center located within 30 miles of every North Carolinian. I did not know that. Yes. Well, you know, something else I didn't know until I met you um, is that the level of training and knowledge that you have is not just for somebody wanting to start a business. You could have been in business 40 years. You know, if if Matt wanted your help, you will be more than happy to help him send him in the right direction or or have the actual resource that he needs. Talk about some of those resources, because I'd like to sort of mentally inspire some small business people out there that are thinking um, about a problem and they don't really know who to turn to. Okay. We do work with existing businesses. Um, A lot of times we provide um, just a listening service to find out what's going on in their business, uh, to see how we can help them. Uh, We might need to put them in contact with somebody, uh, whether it be an accountant, an attorney. uh, The Chambers of Commerce are a great resource. Um, We also can refer them to the Department of Revenue, the IRS. We work closely with those folks, uh, the Small Business Administration. We offer um, training, but I think for existing businesses, a lot of times they need to get a different perspective. So we um, do business counseling, and we have a couple of folks that work with us at the Small Business Center. And uh, we're there just to listen and try to help them come up with a game plan on what their next step might be. And, and here's the thing. They can get all of that information outside of the, the uh, Small Business Center, but they're going to pay for it. So, <laughs> so they really should come to you first, right? Yes, <laughs> you know? taxpayer pay dollars are at good use. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but I'm surprised how many small business people, either they don't know that or um, – they feel like it might be a waste of time that they, these people, my government, couldn't possibly know how to run a small business. And I must tell you something. The resources are phenomenal. They are the, the websites that you can offer them are just unbelievable. There's a couple of small business or portions of small business uh, website that I go to just to value a business. There's there's an entire section that will help you figure out who to advertise to, who your competition is. I'm in a detailed list, and this is stuff, if I went someplace else, I'm going to have to pay for. Right, 
Right, and that's why people should take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, call the Small Business Center, see how we can help you, whether you want to start a business or if you have an existing business. Um, you know, it's worth giving us a shot and trying us out. So yeah. I want to make sure we, we haven't talked about how would somebody get in touch with the Small Business Center? Uh, they could call uh, my direct number at 704-878-3227. They could also go to Mitchell Community College's website, click on Continuing Education, look for the Small Business Center, and you can find our contact information there.